What is going on? Welcome back. Thanks so much. You guys are doing awesome. I appreciate every single one of you who has subscribed. Um, you guys have done an amazing job of blowing up this channel and it's continuing to grow. So thanks so much. We just started posting videos every single day, um, not that long ago, maybe about three and a half months ago. Uh, and we're going to continue to do that, especially through these tough times. So <clears throat> one big question uh, that someone was, well, didn't really ask, but I saw some people talk, chatting about it is how do you know exactly how much food to get, okay, for storage or whatever? And um, there's like literally a million in one videos on the internet, and now there's a million in two, but I'm going to tell you a scientific way and a kind of a smart person's way on how to do it. Most people who talk about this topic are literally, love them to death, they're probably going to, you know, hopefully they do well, but they're literal, like, they're not using a logical method is what I'm saying. I would be nice and just leave it that. So um, <clears throat> even though there may be some of them I'd hang out with or, you know, prep with or whatever, but you need to use a logical method because here's the deal. You will never, ever, ever be at a place where you're like, okay, I don't, I would never need any more food. Okay. <laughs> because you might always need another day, another week, another year, another month, whatever. Right. So you don't know. Uh, and so uh, maybe you're okay and you're happy with just prepping um, a month or a year or whatever, but, uh, but that, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that and just show you what I got here. So, um, okay. So here's the thing. Um, I use a calculator and you guys can have this calculator. There's a link in the description. Um, and some of you might remember that we did a video on this, but um, this is a very easy way to do it. And also, um, you don't need the calculator. You can do this on a napkin or a piece of paper, okay? But you need to think logically about how to do this, okay? So you need to think about how many calories do you need and how many calories do you have in your pantry or wherever you're storing your stuff, okay? Um, that's it, guys. That's the whole system. How many calories do you actually need to survive and how many calories do you actually have right now? Whatever the delta is there, if it's a negative number, then you need to go buy some more stuff, okay? So for instance, if I'm gonna say I have two adults and they need 2,000 calories per day, that's 4,000 calories. If I have two kids that need 8,000 or 800 calories, 8,000, 800 calories, that is 1,600, the combined there of these two, 4,000 and 1,600, is I need 5,600 calories per day to keep people you know, decently healthy. Um, maybe you want to say, okay, this number is more like 2,500 calories. Okay. And uh, maybe you want to say this is a thousand calories okay, per person. So this is why the calculator is cool because it'll instantly tell me I need 7,000 calories a day in my pantry. Now, how many days do I want to stay alive? Let's say I want to do, I want to prep for 180 days. Okay. So this tells me right here, I need one, 1, 260,000 calories, 1.2, 1.3 million calories uh, in my storehouse. Okay. So what you do is then you begin looking at how much you actually have and deducting that off of your 1.2 million. Okay. Once again, it doesn't have to be exact. Okay. Cause some things might, you might have a little bit of stuff go bad. You might eat a little more, eat a little bit less. So don't worry about be, it being precise, but you want to get it to within around like 10 or 15% plus or minus. Okay. So, um, and honestly, the closer you can get it to reality is the best. So for us, it would be like bags of rice, beans, canned food, top ramen, canned fruit, and I could go on and on and on and just put all this stuff in here, okay? So what this calculator does is I look at, okay, per bag of rice, and this is why rice and beans is your absolute best return on nutrition for dollars spent. It is by far and away the best thing you can do. It's better than pasta. It's better than canned foods. It's better than almost anything out there that people say, you you know, if you have to spend dollars you know, money, currency on it, um, you're, you need to look at what's your caloric return per dollar, okay? And your caloric return per dollar um, is just much, much higher with rice and beans. Now, there's different kinds of rice, different kinds of beans and stuff like that, um, but I'm talking about bulk bags of rice and beans, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, um, by the way, it doesn't have to be rice and beans. You can put this in whatever you want, okay? Whatever you want in the calculator, <laughs> But so uh, these are 80,000 to 51,000 calories per 50 pound bag. So I have, let's say I have two of those and seven of these. Um, so it just tallies it up right here. If I had, let's say I had 10 of these bags, whoops, if I had 10 of these bags, then it would tell me what I needed there. And let's say I have four of these bags and let's say I have 110 cans and let's say I have uh, 15 of these top ramens and let's say I have 20 things of this um, canned fruit. Okay, so now I'm still short 
78,000 calories, which according to this, that's about 10 days of calories. So I'm, so I'm close, I'm very close to what I need. And you might even say that's, that's close enough to do 180 days. Okay. Um, but, but uh, what I want you to see here, guys, is the big picture is that this is giving you a really good strategic bird's eye view on what you need to go buy. Okay. Cause then the next thing you could do here is you could say, okay, if I need to go buy, um, you know, three more of these and, you know, X of these and X of these and whatever, then you could actually do the math and go, dude, I only need $400 or something like that. Like if you look at this guy's 1.2 million calories, if you do it right, is only $684. Okay. Because I've got the, the calculations typed in here and these calculations are, uh, going off the quantity. So if I change this quantity, then that just went down a hundred dollars. See, I did from 10 to five. So, uh, and by the way, you can adjust the dollar amount here by, if you click on these dollar cells, <clears throat> excuse me, um, in here, it will, it will have this last digits is the dollar. So this is a dollar 50. This is $9. If you see the nine there, this is $1 and 20 cents. So let's say I'm getting canned fruit and my canned fruit is $2. And I would just take this out, put a two in. Okay. If it's $2 and 50 cents, I would just put 0. 0.50. So all I'm doing is changing the last couple digits. Let's say I can get a 40 pound bag of rice, a 50 pound bag of rice for $20. Okay. Then I would put that in right there. Okay. So I'm going to go back and put that at $40. Uh, but, but anyway, so you can see here really quickly, um, how fast you can update this stuff and figure out, you know, what, what you need, what it costs. And, um, and yeah, I mean, so here, here's the thing. People think that they need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to be prepared for a year. And you absolutely don't. Okay. If you want to be ready for 365 days or a family of four, um, so I need 2.5 million for 365 days. So I might need, let's see here. Let's see if I did 15 bags of rice. Let's say I did five of these. And let's say I did 250 cans. And let's say I did a hundred of these. So that's going to give me 300 total cans. If I have a hundred of these and 250 of these, 350. So I basically have almost one for every day. And let's say top Roman, let's say I did uh, 40 things of top Roman, cases of top Roman. Okay, so now I'm 600,000. So I might need to do, let's say I did um, uh, 20 bags of rice and 10 bags of beans. Okay, so look at CC, so I'm there. So I can even do nine bags of beans. Okay, so look, I'm, I'm basically there. Uh, and this cost me $1,700 essentially, you know, plus tax. So that's not that bad guys for an entire year. I mean, of emergency ration food, um, other things, you know, then you could start thinking about, okay, well, I want to change flavors so I can do oils and sugars and, you know, sugars last forever. You can go back on the video. We just did, um, check out the video. We just did of foods that last forever. Um, economical foods that last forever. You want to check that one out. It was one of the most popular videos we've done in the last three or two months. Um, and so check that one out. But, um, but anyway, so, um, so there you have it guys. So I just wanted to make sure you knew about this and it's a big thing right now. There are so many people getting into prepping and they're just wondering like, dude, how do I figure out exactly what I need? And one of the worst things you can do is just start going out and buy like mountain home and stuff like that, those prep meals, because trust me, you can spend a thousand dollars in prep meals and for a family of four, a thousand dollars of prep meals will probably have you for three months versus a thousand dollars here will have you for six to eight months. You know what I'm saying? And here's the other thing. This real food will be more nutritious than that other food. Um, so anyway, so it, it's whatever you want. You may, you may like that. You may go, Hey, I'm, I'm down to spend three or four or $5,000 on prepped food that comes in a, in a bin because it's just easier. Maybe it's easier for you to store and things like that. And that's totally cool too. But this will, um, you know, give you an idea of what it looks like either way. So, all right, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. I'll be here every single day for you. Check out your, your video feed. You guys let me know. Talk soon.